Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday weather 2020 video. Of course, uh, we are going to look at rain chances over the next 24 hours, severe weather chances as we go into Sunday night and also on Monday. And plus, we're going to check out uh, your clips forecast because using the pattern, the LRC, we can kind of figure out what our weather is going to be like projecting, even though it's a few weeks out still but that's what we're gonna do today first off huge shout out to my boy superior roofing and construction a four state premier roofing contractor uh, they don't just do roofs they do construction they do all kinds of stuff uh, they did my roof about a year and a half ago so if you have roofing needs give them a call the number is right there on the screen plus if you mention my name they're going to give a percentage to the Christian Hetty Foundation, which, of course, is great because what I do with the Christian Hetty Foundation is I help local and regional kids that are battling cancer, of course. All right, so let's get into it. Let's take a look, see what's going on for us out there right now. Uh, we have this weak wave that is pushing to our south, and you can see rain across Oklahoma, Texas, even a little bit of severe weather once you get down into Texas. Now, most of us, uh, Kansas, Missouri, are dry, but we do have some showers which are sneaking up and a few thunderstorms south of Wichita and over towards Bartlesville, um, all the way down toward Tulsa. Nothing too strong, nothing severe, but we do have these showers and thunderstorms, and some of these will get into southeastern Kansas and also into southwestern parts of Missouri. Let's go a little bit farther south as we look into central Oklahoma. Oklahoma City, all the way down toward Lawton, we have showers and thunderstorms. Then we can track a little bit farther south. We do have a little bit of severe weather once you get just to the west of the Dallas metro area. So, again, not a big system, but it's going to rotate through. You can see the little spin. Now we're looking at the upper level wind. So this shows our upper level low, which is really uh, right through the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas. So this upper level low will sink to the south and keep most of the rain across the southern parts of the plains as we go through the next 24 hours. So let's step through time for you. Tonight, those showers getting into southeastern Kansas, maybe as close as Joplin, Springfield, and then all the way down to Tulsa, Oklahoma City, and then the bigger thunderstorms stay across northern parts of Texas. Temperatures dropping back into the 50s. Let's go into Friday morning for you. 48, Kansas City, 48, and Salina, 55, Fort Smith, showers, eastern Oklahoma, into Arkansas, uh, Little Rock, 53, 48, in Springfield. As we go through the day, we get a cold front. So this is going to be draping from Chicago all the way back toward uh, Joplin, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. And there could be a few scattered thunderstorms that pop up late afternoon, uh, west central Missouri, southwest Missouri, into northwestern Arkansas. Maybe a random thunderstorm along that front. Cooler air starts to work in as we go into the weekend. Saturday's still going to be nice. It's just going to be cooler. We're looking at highs, uh, only 55, Wichita, about 58 in Joplin, 64, Tulsa, Fort Smith, up to 68, Little Rock, up to about 64 degrees. So I'm not terrible, just cooler. All right, upper level pattern. So here's the wave we are watching right now, passing through Oklahoma, parts of Texas. It sneaks off to the south and to the east and uh, off the coast of the east coast by the time we head into sunday here's our much stronger upper level low massive snowstorm is going to fall uh, north dakota south dakota and uh, minnesota even northern parts of iowa wisconsin as we go into the weekend now thunderstorms will erupt farther south and we are going to have a severe threat across parts of oklahoma and texas we're going to be looking at that here in one second all right so this system rotates through on monday more thunderstorms central parts of missouri down through arkansas and texas once this system pulls out, we have another one which builds in right behind it by the time we head into next Thursday, producing more showers and thunderstorms. You can see this intense upper level low, which kind of rotates through. All right, so let's do a system breakdown here. Um, all right, so of course I made this about a week ago. I started it on Wednesday, but there's no changes here. So we, we have the showers on Friday, cooler for the weekend still not bad as we head into Sunday and Monday 
strong, possibly severe thunderstorms. We'll really dig into that one tomorrow and then cooling down on Tuesday. But I want to focus, uh, well, we might as well cover this real quick. Severe chance next Thursday and the Friday, the 3rd and the 4th, and then the 8th and the 9th. So let's focus on the 8th. So the yellow days are warm days, thunderstorms rotating in. So this is eclipse day. Now, if you want to get into totality, you got to go into southeastern Oklahoma, um, central northeastern parts of arkansas or extreme southeastern parts of missouri to get into t that totality which if you're going to watch it you might as well but when we look at the pattern so let's go back let's go back one cycle and i'm going to adjust this just a little bit all right so if we go back one cycle so this is february 21st you can see our upper level low kicking out southern parts of california and pushing in so what this gave us was um, showers and thunderstorms, which would have been really on the late on the 21st into the 22nd. Now, if we go back two cycles ago, the storm was a little bit faster. So here's January 5th, and it produced rain through Oklahoma and Texas. So I'm a little concerned about the eclipse weather. I think we'll at least have some high clouds. So if you are going to try to get into totality, what you're going to want to do is get as far east as you possibly can. And of course, we're going to be watching this more as we get into the next couple of weeks. But um, initial thought, I'm a little concerned about high clouds. And of course, you want pretty much clear skies to see this. So uh, I'm going to try to track the eclipse unless if I have severe weather here that night. So my target area right now is going to southeastern Missouri. That's where I'm thinking about right now. But again, we'll keep you updated on that. All right, any questions, comments, leave it in the comment section below, and we will chat soon.